Hello? Uh, my name is Eric Bridge. I am the designer of this game that I want to show you now. Remember when? Um, this is, you're looking at the only physical copy of the game that is in existence right now because it's not yet published. You're probably watching this video because it's, it's going to be on Board Game Arena very soon. We're very excited about that. And I thank my friend Brent for his help doing that. Um, the board game arena version of the game is for three to six players. The actual physical version of the game, if it comes out, if it gets produced, is for three to nine players and will also use orange cards in this space right here where you see the word the. Um, we've already dealt out our hand of cards for each of us. We all get five cards. I'm joined in this game. We're just going to do three turns. This is a three-player game of myself, and I'm joined by my wife and my son. And you start the game, as you can see, barely up here, because I don't want to have to move the camera over and over again. So up here, you will see that we're on the scoring track there and that is for when you guess someone's answer correctly you start the game with a random sentence and I've already created that random sentence this is what I will be competing against on my turn the random sentence we just decided to set everything to the number three and this is an example of how crazy a random sentence might turn out this says, remember when, when I spotted my target in the elevator, I instinctively tracked the sticky tarantula because it solved our national debt problem. So that's the example of the random sentence that I'm going to be going up against. Fortunately, the sentence that I create on my turn is not going to be random. I'm going to set this random sentence over here and I'm going to be handed a blank sentence board by my wife. And now I'm going to create or start to create my sentence. I do have to choose a random number for what will be the subject of my sentence. I choose a number between 1 and 4 for the red card and I'm going to choose the number 2. And it ends up that this will be a sentence about a Buddhist. Uh, the other choices that I would have had were bubbles, or a bride, or a brain. But as it turns out, I chose number two. So this will be a, something about the Buddhist. Now, I get to take two yellow cards. And this is where I get to decide the action that I took. Now, normally the other players would not hear me read aloud my choices, but as you can see here, I could have recruited the Buddhist, reimbursed, refrigerated, I could have refrigerated the Buddhist, recycled the Buddhist. None of those sound very good. I could have confiscated or disabled, disguised, or coached. I think I am going to, and this is also where I decide if I was, if I am a hero or if I was a villain. And I am going to say, and I don't know if this is heroic or not, but I'm going to say that I was a hero and I disguised the Buddhist. So now, the other players at the table have the cards of the remaining colors that I need. They can each play one card. So in this three-player game, I'm going to get one card of their choice from my son and one card from my wife. They call out the color. Seth apparently has a green card that he thinks works well. You are allowed to say the color. That he thinks works well with disguising a Buddhist. And I'll let you look at these through the camera here. The, the green is always when this occurred. Now Seth, you can't see this on the screen, 
But Seth is right now with his four cards. There they are. Those are numbered one through four. And he is going to select which one of these he's going to put one face down that he thinks I'm going to pick. Honey, do you have a card that you want to give me? All right, my wife is providing me with a pink card. Oh, these are some of the handwritten ones that we did after the fact. The uh, printed copy of the game will come with blank cards so that you can make your own. So pink is oftentimes the, the most humorous because that's where you're trying to find out why you did this in the first place. The context of the game is that we are a bunch of, of, of old, retired superheroes and super... Stephanie didn't look at the choices on her card before she handed it to me, so she had to confirm which number it was. <laughs> we are retired and uh, old and senile superheroes and supervillains that have gotten out of prison, and we're getting together at a party to reminisce about our ancient exploits, and we start to brag and try to outdo each other with our stories. The problem is that we're senile and we're not remembering the details correctly, so we're asking our friends for help. So, for the when, this is when I disguised this Buddhist. And my son thought that he had, I said I was a hero, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to put that face down on that, with that one on the top for now. Uh, no? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. And, ooh, hmm, that might work with what we have so far. Now, these are not set in stone yet because you'll see that I still have three blanks on the board, brown and purple and blue. If we had six players, I wouldn't have those because those would have been provided me by the other players. But I'm going to have to use my own cards to fill the, these blanks in. So for blue, I'm now describing the Buddhist with my blue card. I have this, this, hmm, no, not likely. That sounds good. And when you have to use your own card, it can get very interesting. Now, the purple card is describing how or in what manner did I disguise this Buddhist. If you played... Um, Mad Libs, this would be your adverb. Hmm. Okay. No. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking like that might work. I'm trying to create a better sentence than that random one that you saw. Because at the end of this, the other players are going to vote on which one they think is better. Now, brown is where this occurred. Where did I disguise the Buddhist? Not likely. Not likely. Hmm. Um. Um. <laughs> You, this is an example of not having a card that works very well. <laughs> okay, we're going to set it on that one. So, I now start. Now we score this sentence before I read it to everyone. So I say, "Who gave me green?" That would be my son. So for green, I tell him that I picked number one. He guessed number two. He does not score a point on the scoring track. Brown was my card, so I'm just going to turn that over. Purple was also my card, and the blue was also my card. And the pink, for my wife's card, I chose number one. 
Ha ha, she's excited. Yay! <laughs> All right, honey, would you give your purple marker up there one point? All right, she has moved one point on that track. And now I can read this sentence. Remember when, as the enemy as the enemy horde advanced towards us at Alcatraz prison, I hastily disguised the faithful Buddhist because it was a matter of life or death. Ooh. What did you want to say? What number did you pick? Two. Two. As the executor read us the will? Oh my goodness. I thought it was executioner. <laughs> it's not an executioner. That's, that's a completely different story. And executioners do not read wills. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> completely misread it. Okay. Ruined the game. <laughs> no, that's rather funny. But perhaps now you understand why I didn't choose that number. <laughs> I still don't forgive you. Okay, so, Seth, would you like to read that random sentence one more time so that you guys know what you're voting against? Remember when, when I spotted my target in the elevator, I instinctively tracked the sticky tarantula because it solved our national debt problem. All right, so I don't get to vote, but th what they are doing now is they are getting out their one card and their two card. And as the one card indicates, this is when you want to vote for the active player. That would be myself. And for, and if you want to vote for the previous title holder, you put down your number two card. I think they're going to instead hand me their cards, and then I'll just turn them over one at a time. All right, a one and a two. Seriously, Seth? Yeah. You think the random sentence is better than mine? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I like it. I disguised a faithful Buddhist. I All like right. spiders better This is an example of a tie, and guess who gets to break a tie, whether it's fair or not? Me, the active player, gets to break a tie. I'm going to decide that my sentence is better. Biased. Goodbye, random sentence. So we are removing the, those cards from the random sentence board. I'm passing the random sentence board clockwise to my wife. I am replacing the cards that I played on my sentence board. Does everyone else have their five cards? Okay, so my wife will choose a random number for her red card. I choose number four. Ooh, it's disease. A, a memory about a disease. Now she is going to take two yellow cards. She's going to decide what she did to the disease. And if she was a hero or a villain. Now, these are the cards in my hand that I might be able to give her. But I don't know what she did to the disease yet. There are some typos on these, as we saw after the fact. All right, I'm ready. All right, what did you do? I am a hero, and I discovered the disease. You discovered a disease, and that made you a hero? They didn't already know about it? Blue. Oh, you gave blue? All right, so I'm going to put my blue card down, because that is not an option. I don't think that will work. <laughs> I don't think I have a good reason. Well, that would be interesting for discovering a disease. I don't think it's going to be pink. This would be how she discovered it. She said she's a hero. Mm, okay, maybe on that one. Do I have a good place for where to discover a disease? Mm, not really. What about a good time to discover a disease? Mm, no. Probably not. Okay, let's give her purple. And I am 
thinking she's going to pick this number. So I'm going to put this face down up here and hand her my purple card. I will get a replacement purple card. In the meantime, she has been looking at those assembling her sentence. <coughs> I think I have the disease. <laughs> I think so. Well, fortunately, she discovered it. I suppose it's heroic to discover it. It's better to cure it. Some of her other choices, she could have devoured the disease, <laughs> devastated it, diverted it. What were her other choices? Her other choices were navigated, <laughs> melted, named, which was actually... You get to name a disease in pandemic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and my personal favorite, the fourth one, married. She could oh. have married the disease. <laughs> What a wonderful thing to do. That'd be a more villainous thing, in my opinion. Marrying it? <laughs> well, it, disease is normally a bad thing. Hate to break it to you. My that's when you, is mine. That's when you want my refrigerated card. You gave her blue? You gave, gave her something to describe the disease? Yes. Okay. The blank disease. You could call it the blank. Do we need a time limit. Okay. You had to use your own pink card, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry. All right, score it first. Score did anyone it. give her green? No, you gave me purple. That's the first I did one. give you purple. I chose number four. And ta-da! Can you give white a point, please? Thank you. And blue, I chose number one. Ah, he got it right this time. Set this on the board. And then my green, brown, and pink were my own. All right, now we get to hear the completed <laughs> sentence, and she's trying to beat mine. Remember when, in the middle of the night, in a hazmat suit, I gladly discovered the prehistoric disease because I was throwing caution to the wind? Well... You just happened to have a hazmat suit card? Sure did. Oh, brother. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll try to beat Remember When as the enemy horde advanced towards us at Alcatraz Prison. I hastily disguised the faithful Buddhist because it was a matter of life or death. That's pretty good. Yeah, they were trying to kill all the Buddhists, mm. and I saved his life. Mm. All right, now, in a three-player game... Against these two sentences, neither the active player now nor myself get to vote. It's going to be up to our son, <laughs> who I support and feed and <laughs> work so hard for. Okay, don't even get me started. <laughs> yeah. One or two, Seth. If his one card is played, it's his mom's sentence. If the two card is played, it's mine. I'm going to play the two. Whoa! Don't explain your st stupid strategy. Is that why you did it? You really think mine is better? Well, I'm more of thinking what I'm going to beat. What you're going to go up against? Yeah, because I've got to go up against you, and I'm not going up against that. Because it's the better sentence. Because it's the better sentence. <laughs> As we all know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but I'm a deceitful person. Hey, I'm happy no matter how it comes about. Oh, sure. Whatever. Okay, so now for our third and final turn for this video, because you're seeing how to play the game. Um, Seth gets to choose a random number between one and four for his subject matter. Mom is still glaring at me. <laughs> I will choose two. The lawyer. A lawyer? That would be one for the executor reading us the will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Seth's going to decide what he did to the lawyer. I can think of a few things. <laughs> Sorry to all you lawyers out there. I don't think there are a lot of lawyers on Borgangi. 
I mean, Board Game Arena. Ah, you might be surprised. Hmm. Oh, I have that no good choices of a at movie? all. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just now looked at this blue card. Oh, hmm. goodness. Do those exist? Hmm. See, now, should I make this make sense, or should I make it... You know, terrible. Seth, when you voted against mommies, did you think of who was going to vote for the best sentence That's next? That's a good point. <laughs> Mom is a better person than me, and she will always. Oh, I see. Mommy would never. No, she would never like... take revenge. I see. What did you do to the lawyer? Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, y'all can say that I'm gonna that I'm terrible, but I am You're a villain. A villain who and... did what? And I microwave the lawyer. Oh, dear. That might be heroic. No, it's... <laughs> hey. I, I suppose that's villainous. Definitely villainous. Pink? You have a pink for microwaving a lawyer? Oh, yeah. Okay. If it's wow. because I wanted to... Apparently, there's lots of good reasons to microwave lawyers. So, this would be how he microwaved it. Mm, I doubt it. <laughs> mm, it no. <laughs> Hmm. When he microwaved the lawyer. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's rather casual. Where do you microwave a lawyer? Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, pink is out. I, I can't give her pink. Would he do it that way? I don't think he'd do it that way. He said he's a villain. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna do green, Seth. All right. Dad? Yes? This is absolute... This is... Why would you give me this? <laughs> I helped you last turn. <laughs> I'm not trying to sabotage you. Yes, you, you are. You're, I you're really, a saboteur. Wrong game. I really didn't have anything good for microwaving a lawyer. Sure you didn't. I could have described the lawyer, but... Yeah, but that that's so much better. I don't really have a good place to microwave a lawyer, Ugh. if there is such a thing. So if I get both of them right, I get a point? No, no. no. Not in a three-player game. Okay. And that's a home variant that... It's not going to be on Board Game Arena. All right. There's a lot of variants. Okay. I'm going to choose this. Do I just score them now? Or? No, you got to fill in the blanks with your cards. Okay, and you put okay, that okay. in the wrong space. Sorry. So you have to use your blue, your purple, and your brown. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, we had to take a small pause there. It said max video size reached. But Seth is now going through his purple, brown, and blue cards and having to fill it in with his own. You know, if you really think about it, purple really can change the entire sentence. It may not look like it, but it really does. Well, you said you're a villain. Yeah. And now you have to decide where you microwaved him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, this isn't going to make sense. Well, it's funny, okay? Alright. To me. I just have a morbid sense of humor. Alright, so... Um, I'm sure you already have figured out. I gave you green. All what right. was your number? Uh, three. Three? No, number two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought you'd be more, uh, no, no, more I, like I casual. No, I had it on two. I'm sorry. 
I meant really? to. Really? Yeah. You really meant to? Yeah. Okay. Things like that won't happen in board game arena. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Your brown, you just set it to whatever you want. Yeah. Purple was yours. Blue was yours. Oh, dear. Why are you looking at them again? I thought you had already decided all this. Okay. All right, let's pink score was, it. Pink was four. Which she also guessed. Purple gets a point. See, we're all friends here. Uh-huh. All right, I'm interested to hear the sentence. Remember when, as I drank my hot chocolate... At CIA headquarters, I partially microwaved the secretive lawyer <laughs> because I just couldn't go back to prison. <laughs> you see what I mean about the purple? Partially. Well, I'm glad you only partially microwaved. <laughs> yeah, but that's. So was even, he horribly disfigured? <laughs> yeah, that that that's even hor. That's even. That's, I think I'd rather be completely instead of partially. I would think that that would cement you going back to prison. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. the lawyer was the lawyer had the goods on him. See, and he was going to be the one to prosecute him. Yeah, but so if you only partially microwaved we, him, we microwaved his mouth. I could. I could. <laughs> No, no, I could have scared him so much, you know, like, if you dare, you know, oh, give my trial, you know, I'm going to totally microwave well, the rest of your body. this is going to be a competition, then, between a villain and a <sighs> hero. I have to decide. Because right. mine What's says, yours? remember when, as the enemy horde advanced toward us at Alcatraz prison, I hastily disguised the faithful Buddhist because it was a matter of life or death. One would be Seth, and Obviously. two would be, put it up here for the camera to see, two, I win, Mother, I win. mother, I win. hey, you voted against me. How could you do this to me? I thought you were a good person. Uh, I think that was the better sentence. I'm oh, sorry. really? Yes. I microwaved a lawyer. He deserved it. He's a lawyer. Seth, would, would you give me the orange cards from the box, please? All right. I just want to show an example of an orange card. If the game gets produced, we'll be able to have orange cards. I, I don't yet know if we'll have an option to include the orange cards on Board Game Arena or not. But if we did, that would allow it to be played perhaps with up to seven players. Orange cards replace the the on the board and replace it with a personality. So in my sentence, this would become Oscar the Grouch's Faithful Buddhist, or Sir Isaac Newton's, or Peter Rabbit's, or Rosa Parks. So some fictional characters, some nonfiction. That might not work with Buddhist, but it might work with better with bride if I did something to Sir Isaac Newton's bride disguised his faithful bride in this case so that's how the pink cards work as we said we are looking for a producer um, if it is if that does not happen then it may end up on Kickstarter but it's going to be on board game arena soon at the end of the game, you basically have two winners. You have the one who scored the most most points on the scoring track and the one who at the end of the game has the sentence that has been that is basically the last man standing uh, voted on as the best sentence when the game ends. You decide how many rounds you rounds around the table you want to go. And uh, I thank you for watching this demo video.